the great discussion, free weights or body weight exercises, which is superior. Now, there are ardent supporters in both groups who vehemently feel that their approach is unquestionably the superior choice. Some even assert that doing the other is completely useless. Of course, we now understand that to be untrue. There are numerous examples of people from both sides who have achieved excellent fitness outcomes, including increased strength and muscle growth. The problem is that nobody who advises against doing one or the other, for whatever reason, understands the full advantages of the alternative. In all honesty, there are instances where one is superior to the other. Bodyweight workouts, sometimes known as calisthenics, are more adapted to enhance daily use functional motions. After all, the whole point of performing calisthenics is to move your body freely through space. Free weights, in contrast, are often static loads that you move from point A to point B while remaining in one location. For instance, stair runs and box jumps are better suited for strengthening your ability to move more fluidly through a rocky environment, such as on a walk, than improving your squat. Free weights, however, have an advantage in terms of streamlining advancement. Lifting larger weights is all it takes to develop strength. The same holds true for boosting volume through raising reps, sets, or load in order to gain muscle. If you viewed my calisthenics video, I said, to much criticism, that bodyweight exercises are just not as simple to increase strength and muscular growth. And this is still true today. The progression in calisthenics is considerably more technically difficult than the conventional put-on-additional-weights approach. Consider the push-up where the most typical progressions are lifting your feet off the ground, doing dips, or performing single-arm push-ups. By lifting bigger dumbbells when using free weights, you can make equivalent progress in a dumbbell bench press. Free weights obviously need less learning work for the typical Joe who just wants to build a stronger chest. There are additional benefits in both groups. Most bodyweight exercises are completely free, you need to either buy weights or join a gym to do free weight exercises. You can always perform calisthenics in a nearby park that has calisthenics bars. If you want to exercise at home, you can at most buy equipment like a pull-up bar or a suspension training system. Targeting muscle groups is one of the benefits of free weights. In general, it's a positive thing because calisthenics includes a lot of natural and useful motions but it also necessitates simultaneous targeting of several muscle groups. However, there are instances in which you do want to isolate a particular muscle during a workout, and using weights is a fantastic way to achieve this. It's preferable to use weights for isolation exercises when you want to increase the size or strength of a specific muscle, or when you're healing from an injury. Speaking of injuries, Many calisthenics devotees will advise you to steer clear of free weight workouts because they're more likely to cause harm. Now, on paper, it might make sense because lifting high weights when using free weights puts a lot of strain on your muscles, tendons, joints, and ligaments. The truth is that you won't put yourself at danger of getting wounded very often if you follow a good training regimen and acquire perfect form. The only exceptions to this rule would be if you're performing an activity improperly or attempting to lift a weight that's obviously above your capacity. The same is true for bodyweight exercise. You can damage yourself just as much if you try to perform a movement that you're not physically capable of performing or if you perform a movement incorrectly. Now, after all of this, which one is genuinely superior? Well... As dull as it may sound, the bottom line is that it depends. Free weights are for you if your objective is to quickly gain muscle without putting in a lot of learning effort. Calisthenics are the way to go if you want to develop your ability to move your body through space as opposed to pushing heavy objects around. What you enjoy doing the most will also play a role. Some people simply enjoy lifting large heavy objects while others prefer exercising outside without the restriction of weights. The fact is that even if each has an advantage, that doesn't preclude the other from excelling at it as well. There is no doubt that calisthenics may be pretty much infinite in these aspects as well, if you're prepared to put some work into it, 
even though free weight exercises appear to be the best choice for developing strength and muscle. And for most people, that's the catch. Most people merely desire a minor improvement in their current state of health or appearance. The normal individual can benefit from exercises like push-ups and pull-ups, but they don't really care about stuff like flagpoles or front levers. However, if you want to be able to accomplish that, go ahead and do it. And the same holds true when using free weights. Many of the common calisthenics exercises can have weight added to them, converting them to free weight exercises in theory. Of course, we're referring to the standard workouts performed at a gym. Everyone can benefit from back rows and leg presses, but most individuals aren't interested in deadlifting 500 pounds off the ground. However, if you're into powerlifting, for example, starting to stack plates on the bar is very normal. In the end, doing both is the best thing you can do for yourself. As we can see, they both have a lot to offer that's good for everyone. What's the point of choosing only one? Take advantage of both by doing both. Or you can choose to do one. What further advantages exist between calisthenics and free weights? Leave a comment below and share. Oh, and if you love the video, please like, share, and subscribe for more. Thank you for watching.